Good evening, divine counterparts. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm going to read a little bit and then I'm going to check out where the karmics is at in the headspace. Okay, and this is Psalms. Psalms 78. My people hear my teaching. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will open up my mouth with a parable. I will teach you lessons from the past. Things we have heard and known. Things our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy <clears throat> Praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power in the wonders he has done. He decreed statutes from for Jacob. <coughs> for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach their children, so the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and and they in turn would tell their children. Then they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. They would not be like their ancestors, a stubborn and rebellious generation, whose hearts were not loyal to God, whose spirits were not faithful to him. The men of Ephraim, though armed with bows, turned back, turned back on the day of battle. They did not keep God's covenant and refused to live by his laws. They forgot what he had done. He want the wonders he had shown them. He did miracles in the sight of their ancestors in the land of Egypt, in the region of Zone. He divided the sea and led them through. He made the water stand up like a wall. He guided them with the cloud by day and with light from the fire all night. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them water in abundance. As a gave them water as abundant as the sea, as abundant guys is in here as well. He brought streams out of the rocky crag and made water flow down like rivers. But they continued to sin against him, rebelling in the wilderness against the Most High. They will willfully put God to the test by demanding the food they craved. They spoke against God. They said, can God really spread a table in the wilderness? True, he struck the rock and waters gushed out. Streams flowed abundantly. But can he also give us bread? Can he supply meat for his people? When the Lord uh, heard them, he was furious. His fire broke out against Jacob and his wrath rose against Israel. For they did not believe in God or trust in his deliverance. Yet uh, he gave a command to the skies above. And opened the doors of of the heavens. He rained down manna for the people to eat. He gave them the grain of heaven. Human beings ate the bread of angels. He sent them all the food they could eat. He let loose the east wind for the heavens. And by, by his power made the south winds blow. He rained meat down on them like dust. Birds like sand on the seashore. He made them come down inside their camps all around their tents they ate till they were gor gorged he had given them what they craved but before they turned from what they craved even while the food was still in their mouth god's anger rose against them he put to death the sturdiest amount among them cutting down the young men of israel in spite of all this they kept on sinning in spite of his wonders they did not believe so he ended their days in futility and their years in terror, whenever God slew them, they would seek him. They eagerly turned to him again. They remembered that God was their rock, that God most high was their redeemer. But then they would flatter him with their mouths, lying to him with their tongues. Their hearts were not loyal to him. They were not faithful to his covenant. Yet he was merciful. He forgave their iniquities and did not destroy them. Time after time, he restrained his anger and did not stir up his full wrath. He remembered that they were but flesh, a passing breeze that does not return. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him 
in the wasteland. Again and again, they put God to the test. They vexed the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember the power, the power, the day he redeemed them from the oppressor, the day he displayed this, his sign in Egypt, his wonders in the region of Zone. He turned their rivers into blood. They could not drink from their stream. He sent swarms of flies that devoured them and frogs that devastated them. He gave their crops to the grasshoppers, their produce to the locusts. He destroyed their vines, their vines with hell and their uh, sycamore figs with sleep. He gave over their cattle to the hell, their livestock to the bolts of lightning. He unleashed against them his hot anger, his wrath, indignation, and hostility, a band of destroying angels. He prepared a path, a, a path for his anger. He did not spare them from death. But he gave them over to the plague. He struck down all the firstborn of Egypt, the first fruit of manhood in the tents of Ham. But he brought the pe his people out like a flock. He led them like sheep through the wilderness. He guided them safely so they were unafraid. But the sea engulfed their enemies. And so he brought them to the border of his holy land. To the hill country his, his right hand had taken. He drove out nations before them and allotted their lands to them as an inheritance. He settled the tribe of Israel in their homes, but they put God to the test and rebelled against the Most High. They did not keep his statutes like their ancestors. They were disloyal and faith faithless. They were disloyal and faithless, unreliable as a faulty bow, and they angered him with their high places. They aroused his jealousy with their idols. When God heard them, he were furious. He rejected Israel completely. He abandoned the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent he had, the tent he had set among mortals. He sent, he sent the ark of his might into captivity. He splendor into the hands of the enemy. He gave his people over to the sword. He was furious with his inheritance. Fire consumed their young men, and their young women had no wedding songs. Their priests were put to sword. Put to the sword, and their widows could not weep. Then the Lord awoke as from sleep, as a warrior wake from the stupor of wine. He beat back his enemies. He put them to everlasting shame. Then he rejected the tents of Joseph. He did not choose the tribe of Ephraim, but he chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. He built his sanctuary like the heights like the earth that he established forever. He chose David his servant and took him from the sheep pens, from tending the sheep he brought him to be the shepherd of his people Jacob, of Israel his inheritance, and David shepherded them with integrity of his of heart. With skillful hands he led them. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Guys, uh, Okay, uh, I was trying to get a, a quick reading, really quick on, Father God, come in in the mighty name of Jesus, give me a reading on where the Cormac is. I'm just going to get like three cards, where is she at in her head space. Oh, Lord, all of these. No, I'm not going to take these cards. Oh, Okay. Father God, just come in, Holy Spirit, anointing of the Holy Ghost, come in. Uh, where is the karmic at in their head space? Uh, Father God, anointing of the Holy Ghost, come in in the mighty name of Jesus. Where is the karmic at in her head space? Where is the karmic at? How is she feeling? Overall energy bottom of the day, it is eight of pentacles. Uh, okay. Uh, it's nine of pentacles. It's eight of pentacles. Overall energy. She's focusing on her, trying to see how she could uh, better her career. She's focusing on doing something creative. Uh, trying to establish money. I guess she's trying to establish money like I was stating before. She's, okay, and Nine of Pentacles. 
she's focusing on money and uh, starting to try to focus on her creativity, uh, her success, her well-being, her stability, and she's in her headspace. This is in her energy right now. Um, the fool, uh, I don't know if because of the nine of pentacles, she is focusing on uh, or thinking that she's been a fool the whole time. Look how this person is looking or whatever the fool card. Uh, and it's a big zero up there. So it could be that she haven't got any action out of her trying to come up with money or was trying to keep the masculine for money or it could go both ways or the masculine was being with her for money and she's feeling like a fool or either um she yeah she's feeling like a fool for doing all of this just in behind money um and seven of pentacles uh she's one to gain stability and um um more money uh for her situation right now and she's in hermit mode either this is She's thinking this at what I gather because she is in hermit mode that it could be that uh, she is thinking about all of this. Uh, it was seven of pentacles. She is uh, working method methodically towards accomplishments, which bring success. Uh, she should receive good news concerning her financial position, uh, uh, financial application or negotiation well aspected. Although this card is a important to still plan for the future once the harvest has been collected. Um, she, this is in her head space, but she's in hermit mode. Here's eight of pentacles. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. What I gather, she's thinking that she's been a fool about nothing but money. Because it's zero in the fool card and she's in hermit. I think she's thinking that she's been a fool the whole time trying to do that. She did all of this stuff and did mishaps and deceitfulness and uh, a bunch of mischief for all in behind money. And she's in hermit mode thinking about it and contemplating on all that she have done and it was very deceitful she's contemplating about it and that's all i have tonight god bless y'all have a great night thank you